What's good, my people, my peeps? So I just wanted to bring you this quick little story time. I've seen that a lot. You know, everybody has a story time, a story to tell. And I, you already know, <laughs> I have several story to uh, stories to tell. I want to talk about getting up out of bed, getting up off of that couch, opening the blinds, opening the curtains. You see when it's dark, not just dark in the house, but when you feel dark inside, you know, when everything doesn't feel right in your life. Like, how did I get here? And where do I go from here? Been there, done that. But with this story time, I want to talk about God's little messengers. <laughs> it was one day. Matter of fact, it was it was, and I think I've told part of this story before, but it was, I believe in 2016, yeah, I think it was 2016, the day after my birthday or the day before my birthday, I was feeling low. I was feeling mighty low, <laughs> mighty low, and I kept hearing, just, just singing outside my window, chirping, doo -doo -doo, just chirp, 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 chirp. <laughs> chirp, chirp, chirp. Okay, so I went to my window and I opened the window and there were four <laughs> bluebirds sitting right outside my window on the tree branches. And they were just, they were just chirping, singing. And instantly it put a smile on my face. Now, where I stay, there are plenty of trees, plenty of birds, but never have there been bluebirds in my area. And I'll just put a little mention here about bluebirds and their meaning. And after that, it just brightened my whole day, you know, and, and something as small as that can, can motivate you, can keep you going. And so I hope that you can get up and open your window. And even if you don't see a bluebird, see that the sun is out or it may be raining. So the ground is getting nourished, but it is a new day. Another day for you to have the opportunity to do whatever, whatever your heart's desire. Put God first. And so I want to introduce you to Blue Junior. The Bluebirds set up home where I, I stay for now. <laughs> they never left. And so today I was walking outside and Blue, Mama Blue, Papa Blue, just flew in front of me. And I said, good morning, Blue. <laughs> It always they always put a smile on my face but then as I turned the corner I seen a little blue feather and I looked down and I said oh my it's a little blue bird so I took a picture and I'm looking at it and it's just sitting there and I said well hello blue junior and then as I walked close to the little blue bird. Cause I'm like, okay, well, are you hurt? Did you fall out the tree? No, the little bird just chirped and went chirp. <laughs> and it jumped and flew down to the grass. But instantly mama blue, it had to be mama blue, flew down from where she had been watching me guys and went chirp. To let me know. I just want to introduce uh, Baby Blue to you, but I don't want you to touch him now. I don't want you to touch him now. We just um, let you know uh, there's a new addition to the family. <laughs> Protective. Do you hear me? Uh, guys, there's always something to be done here because you wouldn't be here 
God wouldn't have put you here if he didn't have something for you to do. All right, guys. Much, much love.